Hey, welcome to Parkview Kids. I'm Tina and I want to take this opportunity on behalf of our entire kids team to say, I'm so glad you're here. Here at Parkview, we love the next generation and we want to give them our very best. Our top priority is providing a space where kids can learn about and grow their relationship with Jesus in a way that's fun and engaging. During our time together, your kids will hear an age-appropriate lesson that will help them deepen their understanding of who God is. I want to encourage you to sit down and watch this together. We hope that this will provide a foundation for you to have great conversation together as a family about the truths that are talked about here. And make sure you stick around after the video to hear about some more great resources that we have for you and your family. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's go. Have you ever made a paper airplane before? 
have this book of plans to make paper airplanes. See, I made this green one and it flies like this. Look at this blue one. Watch me fly it through the hoop. Now I'm working on following another plan. I just need to fold it this way, this way. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Danny. Hoo, hoo. Making paper airplanes, are you? Hey, Ollie. I have some special plans to make paper airplanes. Following plans is important. It's true. I know someone who has plans for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through hills. I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today, my friend gave me a new recipe to try, and when I followed the plan, ta-da! <laughs> I made peanut butter and jelly cupcakes. Don't they look yummy? The plan worked. This reminds me of a story about God's plans. Do you want to hear it? If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Joseph. Joseph's dad gave him a very special coat, which made some of his brothers very mad. They were so mad, they sent Joseph far away to work in a place called Egypt. Do you think God was with Joseph in Egypt? Yes! God was always with Joseph, and God had plans for Joseph. While Joseph was working in Egypt, he was sent to jail for something he didn't do. Do you think God was with Joseph in jail? Yes! God was always with Joseph. And God had plans for Joseph. One day, the king of Egypt, named Pharaoh, had a dream. And he didn't know what it meant. He heard that Joseph was very good at understanding dreams. So he had Joseph brought to the palace to talk to him. Do you think God was with Joseph when he talked to Pharaoh? Yes, God was always with Joseph and God had plans for Joseph. Joseph listened to Pharaoh and God helped Joseph understand the dream. The dream meant that lots of food would grow for seven years, but after that, there would be seven years where no food would grow. Pharaoh was so happy that Joseph helped him that he put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Do you think God was with Joseph when he was in charge? Yes, God was always with Joseph and God had plans for Joseph. <laughs> Joseph got to work saving food in Egypt for seven years. Let's count to seven together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> Look! Joseph saved so much food, which is good because just like God said, after seven years, the food stopped growing. Now, everyone needed food to eat, including all of Joseph's family. Yes, all of Joseph's brothers didn't have any food, but who saved up all the food in Egypt? Their brother, Joseph. <laughs> when Joseph's brothers came to Egypt for food, Joseph forgave them for being mean to him. Joseph gave them a big hug and made sure everyone in his family had food. Wow, God did have plans for Joseph and God was always with him. God is always with you too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God has plans for you, and God is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God had plans for Joseph, and God was always with him. 
And I know God will always be with me too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. And finished. Let's see if we can fly this one all the way to Jackson's house. See you next time. Bye. There is nothing, nothing impossible. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult. Because you're with me, with me. I am not afraid. Nothing is too hard for you. With you, I can do very big things. God, with you, I can do very big things. I know it's true. I can do very big things. You're with me. I know it's true. with me i am feeling brave when you are with me i am not afraid god you are with me so i can be strong because nothing is too hard for you no with you i can do very big things god with you i can do very big things i know it's true i can do very big things you're with me i know it's true Thank you so much for tuning in today. We hope that the truths found in this lesson will take deep roots in your family. Speaking of your family, we wanna walk alongside you on this journey. We have an awesome resource for you called The Parent Hub. Every month, we share new relevant resources for each of our age groups, birth through high school. Visit theparenthub.org to find out more. We are rooting for you and your family. Keep up the hard and wonderful work of pointing your kids towards Jesus. We love you.